They drove onto the park and drove dead to us, beeline to us. Of course, I'm gonna start to run. Bessie at the time was like, girl, no, 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 don't run, don't run. And I'm like, what you mean don't run? Cause you know, here come the cops, what do you mean don't run? They fighting, I'm in it, I'm black, what? Don't run. She's like, don't run, because if you run, girl, they gonna think that you have something to do with it, and we ain't got nothing to do with it, we gonna just act like we innocent bystanders. YouTube. This is Red Gal 619 and I am coming to you with a birthday edition. Yes, shout out to all my Aries. It's my birthday this weekend, April the 15th. Shout out to me, up Red Aries, Red. I'm gonna be 34 and proud, yes. 34, I don't know if you guys can see the back of this. Can you see it? I don't know what it says. I can't read backwards, but yeah. Anyway, so since my birthday is coming up, I wanted to give you guys a few story times. I think I'm going to give you two, if not at least one. But yeah, yeah, there's that. Your girl's been drinking. Like I said, it's my birthday and I'm very excited about it. So this one's going to be straight off the cuff. This is something, I usually write down stuff, but this is something I don't think I'll ever forget. So hopefully you enjoy it. All I wanted to do was get a CD, you guys. I remember it was Music Soul Child and I had to go downtown to get it. I didn't have a car, I was 15, so that means I had to ride the bus. We headed out and I believe when we got on the bus, we met up with three guys that she was familiar with. I didn't know them, but they saw her and was like, uh, what's going on? Say Kilo though, what's going on Kilo though? What's going on, where y'all headed, where y'all headed? At the downtown, we're going to Goodies, and we're gonna get, you know, a CD, and we're just gonna hang out, you know, we're trying to act cool. We catch the bus, we're heading down, we get off the bus, and we decide to just walk around the mall at first, and, you know, go to Jamba Juice, and then go to the CD store. So we enter the back way, and we get to the very first level because there was three levels to the CD store. So as we walk into the store, we hear a commotion going on. Everybody's going ham, crazy. Everybody's screaming, whooping, and hollering. And I'm like, what's going on? You know, I just want a CD. I see this black guy cussing out this white guy in front of him. I don't know if the white guy cut him. I don't know if he tried to talk to his girl. I don't know what happened. But he was just like, what? What? I'm crazy. Anybody can get it. Anybody can get it, including you. You trying to try me? You trying to try me? And the guy's like, whatever, whatever, dude, whatever. And he was just like, just get out of my face, man. Get out of my face. And he was like, no, you you need to just reevaluate what you just said to me because anybody can get it. And I was just thinking to myself, I think he really means what he says when he says that anybody can get it. You know, all of a sudden, he, he got silent. He puffed up his chest. He lifted up the white guy high into the air and boom, dropped him over right on his neck. Oh my God. It sounded like a tire boss. I said it sound like a tire boss. I was just like, oh my gosh. Legit broke his neck. It looked like that. He just was tripping. I was like, I just wanted to see the CD, you guys. That's all I wanted. That's all I came here for. I wanted the Music Child CD. I didn't want to see anybody break their neck. Like, I'm not here for this. I was so scared. I was so scared because I just, I didn't ever see nothing like that. I thought that I was dead. He didn't move after that. After he was dropped on his neck, homie was out. He didn't say nothing. He wasn't moving. He was just like, you might as well have like traced chalk around this guy. Like you might as well have just put up the caution tape. Like he's done. Mortal Kombat. He's out. Okay. So I don't even think I got the CD. Of course. I think I just left. I said, to me and my bestie at the time, I was like, girl, we gotta go. We gotta go, I can't handle broken necks. I can't handle this, you know, I can't handle this. So she was like, okay, girl, let's go. Cause she wasn't, she, you know, she was kind of freaked out too. Cause I'm saying, we just walked on it. You know, walked on this little fight, you guys. So we go outside and we decide to veer off to um, the little park that was off the side of the mall. And, uh, you know, you just sit there and you can, um, you know, smoke a cigarette. And I think there was like a Burger King that was off on the side there. So I'm sure people, you know, business people downtown ate lunch, sat at the park, la la la. 
So we go to the park and we hear commotion over there. No lie, I'm so serious, you guys. We hear commotion over there. So, of course, my adrenaline's already going from what already happened with the broken neck, okay? And they're like, oh shit, you know, the guys, because we're still rolling with the three guys that we met on the bus. We're like, oh shit, what's going on over there? I was like, I don't know, I don't want to go. So, Lola was like, girl, let's find out what's going on. Let's find out what's the tea is. I was like, okay, let's go. I'm very apprehensive, I went over there. So, two girls. Two girls almost about to get at it, knuckling up. You know what I'm saying? One was like, I know you have a problem with me because you were giving me that kind of look that I see girls normally look like they're jealous of me or feeling some type of way. What's the tea? What's going on? I'm pretty sure at the time they didn't say tea then. But like, what's going on? You know? And the girl's like, girl, I ain't nobody worried about you. Ain't nobody worried about you. Please. You you think people think you're all that, but you're not. You need to just chill out with those little overtired baby hairs and that little butt that you got on your head with this much hair that you got left. And the girl's like, what you trying to say? That I'm a bald-headed girl? I am not bald-headed girl. Please. If anything, I got locks. I got length and I can just girl don't 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 try me don't try me she's like please girl please you ain't nothing you ball headed you ain't cute and you think you're cute and you're not and the girl's like call me ball headed one more time I said call me ball headed one more time I got hair bitch so she took out her ponytail or took out her bun girl she took out her bun girl and I'm standing there to verify, me and my bestie at the time, we sat there to verify if she was bald-headed or not, you know, because she, we were already like this in the fight, like it was a tennis match, you know, seeing these girls, you know, clap back at each other, just clap back at each other. She takes up the barn girl, you know, and she was like, I got length, I don't, got length, then I, I must verify, I must, you know, I must reassure you, she did have length. It, it came to right here, you know, hit the shoulders. Hit the shoulders, and I was like, okay, she got a little light, like, she got a little light. Like. She's like, I ain't ball headed, I ain't ball headed, bitch. I ain't ball headed, bitch. You just jealous. You were jealous, bum bitch. Da -da -da. And she was like, you know what? Fuck this bitch. And this is the other girl. Bam! Gave her a windmill hit right on the forehead. I was like, oh, because the girl that took out her butt wasn't expecting the on the forehead. I think that was like letting a tiger out of the cage after that because. The way she knuckled up and was just connecting with the girl after that, it was just like, damn, the damn damn, oh, oh damn. It was just like seeing a Tyson fight because there's actually no hope for this girl. They were really starting to, you know, get into it. Here come the cops. Whoop, whoop, whoop. The cops are coming, honey. I mean, we were in the middle of the park when all this is going down. When the fight broke out, we were in the middle of the park. The cops saw us. Flash their big beam light. You know how they have that little, uh, uh <laughs> that little fog, fog light that they, they use for a boat to come in dock. That kind of light is seeing beamed on us. And stop what you're doing, everybody. All you Nick, I mean kids over there. Are you? They drove onto the park and drove dead to us, beeline to us. Of course, I'm gonna start to run. Bessie at the time was like, "Girl, no, 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 don't run, don't run." And I'm like, "What you mean, don't run? Because you know." Here come the cops, what do you mean don't run? They fighting, I'm in it, I'm black, what? Don't run. She's like, don't run, because if you run, girl, they gonna think that you have something to do with it, and we ain't got nothing to do with it. We gonna just act like we innocent bystanders. Bestie, you got it. So I stood there, and the cops came. What's going on out here? What's going on out here? And I'm like, I was, uh, I'm just here after church, and all of a sudden, these youths, Start to break out in the fight, and I and I just didn't know what was going on. I believe they all went different directions because I didn't want to point out exactly where I saw all these niggas going. Because I said, I'm telling you, there was about nine or ten of them there. There was a good bunch of them there, and two girls, like a bunch of dudes and two girls. So I guess you know they had that little little Kim, I'm the only female in the group attitude. I don't know what it was about. You know, like I said, just like the the CD situation. I don't know what was going on with the park situation. All I know is that I saw fights. It was like fight night, okay? So the cops are like, Well, everybody, just go home. Stay out of fucking trouble. Wherever you go, go home. Just stay out of fucking trouble. And they zoomed off. So I'm like, you know what? This is too much, okay? I can't handle this. All I wanted was a CD. All I wanted was a CD, girl. 
I gotta go home, I can't do this. And the guys were like, no, no, no. We gonna cut the night early, so early. We gonna cut the night so early. Why you gonna do that once you hang out with us? And I'm like, I don't know. And Bessie's like, girl, come on, let's, you know. We never got your CD. We gonna waste a good night in bus fare. <laughs> A good night in bus fare. You know we uh, we ain't we gonna really we really gonna waste a dollar seventy five tonight. <laughs> you know, and I'm like you right, you right. So I'm like okay, cause okay we'll hang out with dudes, but you know I ain't gonna do nothing. You know we, we but we can hang out, we can hang out. So <clears throat> we go to the bus stop to go to you know wherever we were gonna decide to hang out. I guess the guy's place, and you know like I said, there's three guys there. And it was us two girls, okay? And we're sitting at the bus stop, and all of a sudden, okay, so we're at the bus stop. Sorry, I had to replace my um, battery. Okay, so we're at the bus stop, and this Cadillac passes by us kind of slow, you know? And um, it was slow enough for us to notice them at noticing us, and, uh, the third guy, it was the two guys and they were hanging out with my bestie at the time and there's this one guy with me and all of a sudden after this, you know, Cadillac passed us in a slow pace, I heard him say, oh shit. And I was like, you know, I was already on edge. <laughs> I was already on edge on what, you know, all the stuff we have just gone through. And for you to say, oh shit, after a vehicle has passed us at a slow pace, makes me a little nervous so of course i asked the question why did you say oh shit and he was like oh my god i know them niggas and i'm like what you mean you know them niggas and he was like they think that i shot their cousin and i was like what you mean <laughs> they think you they what what you mean they think you you shot they cousin and he was like yeah. yeah you know i got in a fight with his old lady and you know I, I, I didn't hear the story really after that but i was just like yo yeah, there's, this is just too much going on we have fights that are going on we have people's necks being broke um we have girls and you know knuckling up in the middle of the park and now i'm rolling with a target is what you're telling me i'm rolling with a target is what you're telling me and because i seen that you know the car did turn around but they're of course on the far opposite opposite ugh, i can't talk of course they're on the far opposite on the other side of the road man they're over there and they pass by again slow like is that that nigga is that that nigga you know how when people are looking like bus comes I'm relieved we catch the bus and um, you know we're filtering in it's us five like I said you know the two guys get on the bus my best gets on the bus and then I'm, I'm about to get on the bus and I see the guy that told me all the situation about the Cadillacs and the you know you know the things that are going on with the you know getting accused of being a, 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 a accessory and murder or something and I'm like where are you going <laughs> and he's like oh I'm catching the bus I'm like no you're not uh, you were talking, <laughs> you, 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 uh, you, you're, you, you're about to be assassinated. Like, I can't roll. I'm so sorry, but you can't get on this bus. And my bestie was like, girl, you tripping, stop it. Let him get on the bus. I was like, oh my God, like, you don't know what's going on. So I couldn't stop him from getting on a public bus. So he got on the bus and I sat down with my bestie and I told her the tea. I was like, bitch. This motherfucker thinks is accused of murder and uh you know these niggas in a Cadillac that just passed us think that he's the one who did it and you know you got him on the bus with us now what's gonna happen I'm quite concerned and she is just like just chill just chill you know I'm like I'm ready to go home 
I'm in all in all honesty, I'm I'm ready to go home, you know, because all I wanted was the CD. You know? I just wanted music soul child. I never got I never even got the CD. I mean, later on, I believe I got the CD, but at the, around this time, this night, it never happened, okay? So she's like, just chill out, just chill out. So we, the bus, you know, carries on, and it goes from stop to stop. It probably was like four or five stops up. I'm starting to calm down a little bit. Then all of a sudden, I hear, do 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 and there's a car next to the bus, and the guy hanging out the car with guns like, I keep trying to go up there. I know he's on the bus. I keep telling my cousin, he telling my cousin to get him off the bus. And I'm just like, oh my God, they're, I really feel like they're going to do a drive-by, like just light the bus up. I really felt like I was going to die that night. Like, you wanted to get him on the bus. Like, I told you, like, we can't, I know I'm not the bus keeper. I understand this, I know this. But I told you he was like, uh, <laughs> I told you he was po possibly, you know, a person that may be assassinated tonight, but you still wanted him to get on the bus. And now look what's happening. <laughs> you know, look what's the casualties to, you know, allowing him to board the bus. Oh, so what happened after that? I think they just skirted off and he was like, you know what, I'm going to just get off the bus. That's what he said. He's like, oh, you know what? I'm just going to get off the bus. I said, you know what? That's a good idea. I think you should get off the bus. He's like, yeah, because my house is like, you know, four stop. What did he say? I know my house is like two stops up. I believe he said like two stops up. I know it wasn't four stops up. He said, my, my house is like two stops up. So if I stop, if they know where I stay and I get off on the stop, they expect me to get off, then I'm done for, so I'm gonna get off right here. And I'm like, yes, I think I think that's a good idea. You get off here, you know. <laughs> I was all for this idea. So he gets off the bus, and we continue on to the guy's house, okay? And I think later on, I found out that he did get shot. I don't know if he died, but I believe that they did find his ass on his way, like trying to go through bushes to sneak into his house. I think they did catch up to his ass, and I believe he did get shot. You know what I'm saying? And we journeyed on, and we went to the guy's house. Um, these, one of these guys' houses, his uncle's house, I believe. And, you know, we get there, and the guys are like, you know what? We're going to get something to drink since we're here with you ladies and everything. And I was like, okay, whatever, because, you know, I wasn't planning on drinking, and I wasn't planning on staying there long. You know, I was just like, you know, I didn't want to waste my dollar and 75 cents. So we here with the guy, these guy, one of the guy's uncle and the two guys left together. Okay. Mind you, they're blood, I believe, or wannabe blood. And their uncle is a crip and they're in a crip neighborhood. So there's that. And okay. So they go to the green cat. Anybody from 619 San Diego, California, you already know the four corners. The Green Cat liquor store, it was almost about to close. So they're like, okay, let's get something. And you guys stay here with my uncle. You know, he's cool and you know, it's a it's a safe it's a safe environment. He's just going he's chill. And he was, he was chill, you know, he was he talked, he was very talkative. Uh, I didn't know much about what he was talking about. I was more paying attention to his little hand. He did have a little hand. You know, like the yin yang twins. I don't know if it's yin or it's yang. <laughs> But whoever has a little hand in the yin yang twins, he had one of those. So when he talked, you know, he talked with a little hand. No shade. I'm going to stop doing it. But he did talk with that little hand. So I'm just looking at the hand as he's talking about nonsense. You know, I'm just burning time with my homegirl. And, um, you know, we weren't there maybe 20 minutes. You know, we were just hanging out. We weren't there more than 20 minutes. And all of a sudden, him, the, the, the guys that left to go to the green cap can bursting in and we're like oh shit oh, oh shit oh blah damn blah and I'm like what happened <laughs> you know because I'm already on edge what happened what the blood clots <laughs> I'm telling you I'm <laughs> what 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 happened cars we were halfway to the green cat and these crip niggas saw us with all our fucking red on. Just start letting rounds off of our, on them. Just what's up? Do, 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 do. And they're like, oh shit, oh shit. So they, of course, booked it right back to their uncle's house and told them what happened. I was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. I am so done. <laughs> Stick a fork in me. I'm done. I'm ready to go home. I told my bestie, I fuck what you're talking about. Fuck the dollar seventy five. Fuck the CD. At this time, I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to go home. And she was like, you know what? 
let's do a bitch. So we pumped it out of there. We pumped it. You guys, it was just a crazy night. Everything just went so topsy-turvy and I was just like, oh my God. All I wanted was a CD. Yeah, all I wanted was a CD. Okay, you guys, so I told you this is my birthday series. I'm going to come to you with one more story time. But real quick, if you can check out my check out my necklace, you guys. This is a new piece that I got from my husband. Later on at night when we were watching TV, he surprised me with this. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and show you the video. Here we go. definitely surprised uh as you can see i wasn't put together at all so it was definitely a surprise but um i want to share that with you guys and show you my new little piece hey, i am a little feeling kind of feeling myself I'm feeling myself. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I'll be right back with you with another story time. And I hope you enjoyed this story time that I gave to you. Give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And when you do decide that you want to go ahead and subscribe and be one of the good ups, be a good up, put that notification um, bell on. Um, I think you have to click the little square box, hit save, and then you'll be good to go, okay? So thank you so much again. Peace.